Now the question that I am going to discuss with you today is going to be a very interesting question. And if you are if you are preparing for gate earlier, then I'm sure you have encountered this question and you have debated this question with others. And the things that I'm going to share you today about this question are going to make this question even more interesting. And whoever has made this question, because it's a previous year gate question, so whoever made this question was really in a very fun mood. Okay. So by the end of this video, you will not only be able to understand that how interesting this question is, but you will also learn a concept from this question that will be helpful in general for you in any particular gate question, wherever you face uh, such question, you will be in a state to pick the correct option out of the given options. Okay, so let's have a look at the question. The question says that a large uniform plate, okay, it's a large plate containing a rivet hole, as you can see in the diagram, is subjected to a uniform uniaxial tension of 95 mega pascal. Okay, that you can see here that a uniform uniaxial tensile load, tensile stress of 95 mega pascal is acting. The question is asking that the maximum stress in the plate is how much? It has given you four different options 100 mega pascal, 285 mega pascal, 190 mega pascal, and indeterminate. This is the diagram which is given to you 95 mega pascal of uniform tensile uh, uniaxial uh, tension. The width of the plate is 10 centimeter and the size of this hole is 5 mm. Okay. Now, before I start this question, let me tell you one thing about this question that in some of the sources, the size of the hole for this question is given as 5 centimeter and in some of the sources, it is given as 5 millimeter. In the question, I will discuss both of the cases with 5 centimeter also and with 5 millimeter also so that I can tell you how interestingly this question has been made. Okay, so let's start discussing this question. So as I told you that in some of the sources, this diameter has been given as 5 centimeter and in some of the sources, this diameter has been given as 5 millimeter. So we'll solve by both the methods because actually this question is from gate 1992. So at that time, uh, you know, the things were not so much streamlined like they are today, I guess. So that's why it's difficult to confirm it officially. So I will take both the cases and I will explain to you that how to pick up the right answer, right option in such a case. So firstly, assume that this is 5 centimeter. The diameter of the hole is not 5 mm. Let's say this is 5 centimeter. Okay. So how to find out the maximum stress in this case? Okay. So obviously it is a case when we have to consider stress concentration because the question, how the question has been framed. It has given you that plate is large. It has uniform tension and the shape of hole is also circular. The value of stress concentration is not given to you. But if you recall the stress concentration case that I uh, told you about, the special elliptical case, when the ellipse becomes circle, then you can consider it eligible to apply the formula of KT, which was KT is equal to 1 plus and for circle A is equal to B, so the value of KT will come out to be 3. So for this case, I told you that you can apply this expression only when the plate is large and there is uniform tension and the shape is circle or elliptical, correct? So all these things are present into this question, which is a clear indication that you have to consider stress concentration in this question, okay? So keep that first thing in your mind. Now, coming to the dimension of 5 centimeter, the first thing that we need to do to determine the maximum value of stress is to determine kt and then to determine sigma o which is nominal stress. So kt we can calculate it is 3 for circular hole in large plate in uniform tensile load. The value of sigma naught you can calculate by force balance that I also told you. Sigma naught or nominal stress is the value of stress through which is passing through the center of this hole when there is no stress concentration. So if this is 95 mega Pascal and this width is 10 centimeter. 
so we can calculate the stress which is acting on this section by force balance so total force on left side acting towards left is stress 95 multiplied by the area area this is 10 centimeter multiplied by its width let's say its width or its thickness is t so that is the force acting towards left that is equal to the force acting towards right so let's say this stress is sigma o sigma naught so nominal stress multiplied by how much is this width over which this stress is acting 10 centimeter minus 5 centimeter so that is 5 centimeter multiplied by the same thickness t so t t will get cancelled this will cancel it will become 2 so nominal stress will come out to be 190 mega pascal this is nominal stress okay and from this you can calculate the maximum value of stress as you just have to multiply sigma naught with kt which is 3 so it will come out to be 190 multiplied by 3 570 mega pascal this is the maximum value of stress that you are getting if you consider this hole to be of 5 centimeter now this answer is incorrect obviously this is not given in any of the options and the very first mistake when you consider this hole to be of 5 centimeter is that this plate will no longer be large when i was teaching you about stress concentration in such case i told you that how do we define the plate to be large the plate is considered large when the width of the plate is at least 10 times more than the diameter of the hole and to be very precise the ratio of d by w should be less than or equal to 0 0.1 where d is the diameter of the hole w is the width of the plate if this is the condition then only you can consider the plate to be very large in this case when d is 5 centimeter and w is 10 centimeter in this case d by w is coming out to be 0 0.5 correct 5 by 10 and have a look at this graph it shows that for this case when d by w is 0.5 the value of kt is very far from 3. I told you this graph I also told you when I was teaching you about stress concentration and I told you that smaller will be the value of dyw closer will be the value of kt to 3. So you can see that the value of 3 is existing for dyw almost 0 but in this case the value of dyw is 0.5 and as you can see from the graph that when dyw is 0.5 the value of kt is equal to 2.15. So clearly when you consider the value of kt to be 3 when it is actually 2.15 so there will be large error involved and this graph is not accessible to you in the exam. You have to rely and you have to use the value of kt as 3 only. Hence this answer that you are getting as well as the assumption of this as a large plate for this diameter is incorrect. Hence you have to take this diameter as 5 mm and not 5 cm. But before we move to the discussion of 5 cm, keep these two values in mind that nominal stress came out to be 190. Let me actually write it here that in this case, in case 1, nominal stress was equal to 190 mega pascal okay? and maximum stress was equal to 570 mega pascal. Now let's move on to case 2 when we have 5 mm diameter hole here in place of 5 cm. Now when you consider this as 5 mm and you apply the same process, you get that the total force on the left 95 multiplied by its 10 cm. So let's convert it into mm. So 100 mm multiplied by T. So this is the total area multiplied by stress force on the left is equal to force acting in this direction will be equal to sigma naught multiplied by this distance in mm so it is 100 mm this total is 100 mm minus 5 mm will give you 95 mm multiplied by t so t t will get cancelled 95 95 will get cancelled sigma naught will come out to be 100 mega pascal this is nominal stress in this case and maximum stress in this case will be 300 mega pascal because you have to multiply it with kt is equal to 3 for circular hole to get the maximum value of stress okay now observe the options that were given to you 
so if you look at the options and if you look at the values that we have got initially we have got 190 as nominal stress 570 as maximum stress here we got 100 as nominal stress 300 as maximum stress now look at the options whoever framed the options have done a very interesting work because for some student who forgot to change the units suppose the initial units given were in mm but some of the student consider that as centimeter okay so what is going to happen he will get those two values 190 is also present 570 is also present he will think that since 570 is not present anywhere so maybe we do not have to take stress concentration he will put 190 mega pascal as the correct one for some student who took it as mm but he solved it like this he will also have a difficult time because the exact value of 300 is not matching with any of the options the closest value is 285 but the value of 100 megapascal is matching so he will also think that maybe we do not have to take stress concentration factor and we just have to put uh, we just have to tell the maximum value of stress and he will put 100 as the option so if you look at the uh, how options are framed it has one option present for every mistake there is also one very common mistake that students do even one of not one of many of the institutes have also done uh, this mistake in their books that to determine the maximum value of stress they have just multiplied 95 with 3 what they have done is that when you multiply 95 with 3 you will get 285 as the answer 285 mega pascal so what they have done is they have told 285 as correct which is absolutely right but they have given this logic this is incorrect you cannot multiply this stress with kt for kt you have to multiply nominal stress not the applied stress and nominal stress is the stress passing through this section so this stress you have to calculate and then you have to multiply with kt which will be equal to 100 means the nominal stress will be equal to 100 and then you multiply with 3 so do not do this mistake okay i know many students who have covered this topic but while solving question they do mistake in this that they take this value of stress as sigma naught this is applied stress sigma naught you have to calculate by equating the two forces okay so in this options in the options given all the options given are incorrect neither this 100 because it is not considering the stress concentration factor 190 is also present which is for 5 centimeter and that to nominal value not the maximum value 285 is also present which you will get when you just multiply 95 with 3 which is incorrect you have to multiply sigma naught with 3 and the option is for those who have not studied anything who don't know anything none of these all of these indeterminate these options are made mainly for those students who have not studied anything let's take this it is the simplest one. I am just joking. It is not true. In some of the cases, such options are also correct. So, what is the correct options? All the correct given options are incorrect here. The correct option is B. Reason number one, it is closest to the correct value. This is the correct value of 300 mega Pascal. It is closest to that. Correct. The second reason is that I showed you the graph, right? Now, this is where your knowledge will come to use. In the graph, for dy w is equal to 0 when the diameter of this hole was 0 kt was 3 in reality it is not like this right in this case also if you divide 5 with 100 mm so dy w in this case is going to be 0 0.05 it is not 0 totally so the value of kt will not reach totally at 3 look at the graph the value increased like this for 0 it was 3 but in this case it is slightly higher than 0 so the value of kt will be slightly lower than 3 if this value of kt that you multiplied to get 300 will be slightly lower than 3 so this value also will be slightly lower than 300 and it will be near 290 285 this is why again reason number 2 this option b is best option given out be best option out of all the given options so look at how interesting this question was it showed you that how judicially the questions of gate can be made there is one option present for everyone for every type of mistake and ultimately you have to choose the right answer either on the basis of your aptitude by choosing the most closest answer 
or by using your knowledge that the value of d by w will be slightly higher so value of kt will be slightly lower than 3 so the nearest value to 300 is going to be 285 okay so i hope you learned a couple of concept and a few silly mistakes that you can make in such type of question mm -hmm.